Let's take a look at some more tools that are available to use in XGen on our next model, a Spiral Staircase. I'll choose Normal for the design range on this one. The basic design is a helix, so I'll need an axis to revolve around as my first feature. Notice that I'm using the Line Point Direction option. Next, I'll create a starting point. I can use the origin and just come out however far I need to in the X direction. While I'm at it, I'll create one more point. These points will be the start of the inside and outside helixes respectively. The helix command has two easy to manage variables, the pitch which is the distance covered by a full revolution, and the number of revolutions. With the inside curve complete, I'll create the outside one in the same way, and keep the variables the same so that the curves match. Now I want to create evenly spaced points on both curves with the divide curve command. These points will serve as connection points for the steps. Selecting any of the resultant points is sufficient to get started connecting all of these points. XGen recognizes the two patterns as being compatible. I'll just select the two points option in the line command and make sure to click one point from each divide curve feature. The start and end length should be set to zero in this case, since that would extend the line beyond our two points. I'll take the outside helix and use the extrude command to create a support barrier. This same curve can be used again for a translation move. I'll use this later for the handrail. Guardrails are another good addition, and I can use the divide curve command again on the same curve to generate the points. I'm creating this additional feature because I want more divisions for the rails than I do the steps. Similar to how the axis was created in the very first step of this model, I can just click any of the points that were created in the divide curve command and choose the line feature with the point direction option. Verifying a selection is easy with the clear input feature. I'll use it here to reselect the points. This surface needs to be thickened and it also needs to enclose the rails that I'll create later. I'll apply a thickening dimension in both directions to account for this, and I'll do the same for the inside curve. Create the surface, then do the thickening operation. Now that these barriers are in place, it will be easier to visualize the creation of the steps. An extrude of the lines combined with a thickened feature is a good way to generate the prismatic shape of the steps. I notice that the steps extend beyond the barrier so I'll go back and edit the extrude surface commands from earlier to account for this. Let's do some sweeps now. The guardrails will use a simple circular profile that updates quickly so I can see which size looks best to me. And the same goes for the handrail. That's it for the basic structure of this staircase. Be sure to check out our next XGen video to see how I create variations of this design.